Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So, I have another light fixture that has shown up in the mail. This one is by the company SG LEDs. And fun fact, I just recently learned that the SG stands for Sun and Glow. Um, so, that hopefully that helps make their name make a little bit more sense. They use LED elements made by Sansi. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Sansi products. They've just, they're super bright. They're super high quality, and uh, they uh, run super cool. And so we're going to uh, open this guy up here. Just on the outside, it says it is. The model is a, it's called a BR30 LED bulb, and it is rated for 30 watts, and it makes 4,000 lumens. So let's open her up, let's see what we got. Here's a little welcome card that they always put in all their products. And it looks to be a five element LED floodlight. Now, SG LEDs was very kind to send me this free of charge so I could take a look at it and show you guys. Um, and so uh, here it is. I really appreciate their partnership. And um, like I said, I do like their products. And so I have not um, found or I've not reviewed an SG LEDs product uh, yet that I have been disappointed with. So as usual, the construction of this feels very robust. You can tell that the LED elements are encased in that ceramic um, housing, I guess you would call it. <clears throat> And the ceramic housing uh, helps keep each of these individual elements cool. And this, I know for a fact that as when I power this thing on and leave it on, I can be confident in knowing that the uh, fixture will stay cool. It will not get too hot. So that is definitely a plus when you're dealing with fixtures like this. So I'm pretty sure the suggested uses for this would be to use it as an outdoor floodlight, as some type of a street light, or something where a very high output of directional, directional light would um, be required. I have a different uh, use for this in mind, and I will show you guys right now. So as you can see here, I am in the middle of a renovation of a basement and only a third of the power is uh, on right now at this basement. So I've got power and light over here, but I don't have power and light in this room where we're going to have a lot of work taking place. As you can see, there is a, um, there's a dehumidifier. Um, this basement has a lot of flooding issues. It is one of the reasons why uh, we are remodeling this basement because we had a pretty serious flood here. And anyway, there's no light in this room and so I'm going to need to use the help of work lights. And it's possible you may have seen uh, this light that I've used in the past. And if not, I will link a, uh, I'll put a link in the cards up above uh, to the video about that light. But this video is not about that light. This video is about this light. And so I'm going to use this light with one of these old school fixtures. And uh, we'll see uh, how, it, how it works, how, how well it lights up the room. Okay, now as you can see, I do have the light installed in this old-timey fixture, and I'm going to turn it on. And so, here is the before of the area. Let 
and here is the area that we're going to work on after the lights on. As you can see, it functions great as a nice bright work light. Get this old piece of wood out of the way here. This is the issue we're dealing with is we got a decent sized basement leak and so every time it rains water pours in. And uh, so we get to we get to dig a sump pump in this area. I'm definitely not going to make a video about that process. Well, it appears that SGLEDs has got another hit on their hands with this light. I believe this light was designed mainly for high bay lights and um, you know, like warehouse lighting or things with high ceilings because it does uh, send out a pretty concentrated light beam out of the front of the bulb. But as you could see with the example that I showed you, using it as a directional work light is very effective. And as a matter of fact, they make fixtures kind of like the one I use. I called it an old timey fixture. They actually still make fixtures like that that are made specifically for these types of lights and uh, you can get one for relatively cheap on Amazon. Uh, I'll go ahead and, and drop a link down in my description for a fixture that would work with this. I don't get compensation for it anything. It's just a quick search that I made on Amazon. Um, this light is available on Amazon as well and I will link to it also and any available coupons or discounts I will also mention in the description below and in the comment box. Uh, if I had anything, if I had to knock this light for anything, it's just, if you can hear that, it's just a little rattly. Um, I don't think that it is a flaw. Um, I think what's going on is that the elements plus all the electronics are um, floating inside this housing. And, uh, and that's to help keep the outer housing from getting hot and so you get a little bit of a rattle. I can tell that the screw-in uh, socket here is not uh, like welded or soldered to the circuit board. It's only attached via wires and so they are separated from each other and I believe that has to do with heat dissipation. Um, it didn't affect the performance of the light at all and like I said I really like it and it's going directly into rotation for me as a work light. So I hope that everybody enjoyed this video. I re really like to give uh, thanks again to SGLEDs for giving me the opportunity to review this light. Uh, once again I will leave a link to the light in the description below and if you're interested you can go down and pick yourself up one and, and try it out for yourself. So uh, thanks again for watching. I will see you guys next time.